Hey everyone, back with another quick Photoshop tutorial and this one came as a highly requested one so I figured I would go ahead and do it. So a few months ago I posted a photo of a roller shop and I added a rotor glow. So if you don't know what that is, a lot of times during races uh, you'll see race cars get this glow on their brake rotors just due to constant use and the heat that builds up so looks really cool at dusk and things like that and I kind of wanted to do that to one of my rig shots so I figured I would give it a shot and show you how it's done so here's the results of what I was able to do on my first test so I'm going to show you two techniques on how to do this the second technique this first technique is actually just a filling a selection with a color and then changing the blend mode to color so pretty easy the second one is just as easy but I use hue and saturation so I'll just show you some of the differences between the two but the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a selection so above this layer I'm just gonna make a new layer and we're gonna go with our pen tool and we're gonna go in and just trace around this rotor now in order for this technique to work, you really need a, a rolling or a rig shot or something that doesn't have the rim interfering with the rotor. So this isn't really something that you can fake. I know a lot of people sometimes fake motion shots and go in and add motion after the fact. The problem with that is when you spin the wheel in Photoshop, it spins the entire wheel with the spokes and the brake rotor and caliper at the same time. So you don't get an actual, the actual look of a rolling shot. And so in order for this to work, I think that you're really going to need like an actual, an actual roller, whether you take it car to car or rig or something like that. So we're just going to go around and with the pen tool we're going to get a somewhat accurate selection of the actual rotor of the car. So now that we have that selection completed we're just going to right click in it and click make selection. We'll just keep 0.5 feather pixel and then we're going to go over here we're going to go to our colors and I think we just want to get kind of a nice orange color so on that new layer with the orange color selected as our foreground color we're just going to hit option or alt delete and that'll fill that layer so as you can see that looks awesome totally real just go ahead and save it out send it to instagram and you're good actually what we want to do is come up here to this blend mode called color and you can see when you back out actually it looks pretty good and if we bring up our reference image you can see that we have pretty good variation in lights and darks and I think we're pretty good. The other thing you can do is if you want to change the color and add some variation you can make a duplicate of this and you can go over here let's say you wanted to add a little bit more red you could go there, hit Alt Delete, just kidding. Command click this first and then hit Alt Delete. And what you can do then is if you want, you can go in and put a layer mask on that and grab your brush tool. make it a little bit bigger and now you're just painting a mask so if you only want the red on the bottom and you want to keep that uh, more yellow tone at the top you can do that and that will just show some variation between the two colors so that's the first technique the second technique is let's grab a an adjustment layer so we're gonna grab this hue and saturation and since we already made this selection we're just gonna copy this so we're going to command click the layer, we're going to go to this layer mask, and we're going to hit alt delete. Let's hide these. Let's deselect. We're going to hit command I to invert that, that layer, the layer mask. So before we had 
the brake rotor selected as black. We actually wanted that selected as white. So just inverting that layer will get us what we need. And then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna click this colorize button. And then we're going to go to saturation. We're gonna bump that up quite a bit. And now we just wanna work on getting kind of the right color. So we want more of like an orangish red somewhere in here. And the good thing about this is you can change the amount of saturation and you can also change the um, how dark or light it is. And something cool that I found with this is if you do a second copy of this and you start playing with some of the blend modes, you get some of those like hotspot variations and that may be too much. So what you can do is you can pull back the opacity and then you can also change the color on the second layer. So you can add more yellows and you can bring back the saturation a little bit. And same thing with the bottom. If you want to bring back that opacity, bring some of that layer back. So it just shows some of the different hot spots on the wheel and things like that. It gives a little bit more variation. Again, it's a lot of this is going to depend on what your image looks like, where the sun's hitting it, and things like that. So, um, but you can see in here, it kind of has that color variation. So it's really orange in the middle, and then you have the different hot spots of varying yellow colors throughout, and then even some really dark reds. So I think the, the key to make this look real is just mix in that variation. So whichever, Whichever technique you use, if you use the hue and saturation, or if you use the different color versions. Again, just a really quick tutorial. It's actually a really easy technique once you have that rolling source image. So hopefully this video helped. Hopefully you liked it. If you do, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care.